yes, this is Uncle T boxing. And now, well, there's something I can't see on this screen. Can you just uh, raise it up a little bit for me? Oh, Put it around the waist. And the new, the new seven area, well, cruiserweight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cruiserweight. Cruiser so, what's your name, sir? Daniel, Daniel Mendes. Daniel Mendes, where's that Mendes from? Um, it's like Portuguese. Um, my great grandfather was Portuguese, went over to Jamaica, and that's how it started. Okay. Yeah. So you fought, um, what's his name again? Danny? Danny Cousins. Danny Cousins. I've seen yeah. him fight a couple of guys. He dropped, um, who did he drop? Um, Hozzy. Hozzy, yeah, that's yeah. A, that was the one he dropped him. Yeah. And I looked at this button and I thought, whoa, this is a good matchup. Yeah. How did you feel leading? I mean, you went all the way to 10th round. The 10th mm. round was a beautiful, it was back and forth, but you, you threw some really, well, it was the best, it was the best fight of the night. I mean, yeah, especially no, in the, 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 the last round, there was some, some love. Well, you're a Southpaw as well, aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. So tell me a little bit about yourself. What was your, like, uh, have you, did you have an amateur career? Yeah, yourself? man. I had my first amateur fight in 2008. Yeah. Um, this was down in, in Stoke on Trent. Yeah. Um, and then I moved over to London in 2011. Mm -hmm. I boxed with Peacocks um, as an amateur. And then um, I turned pro in 2015. 2000. So leading to this fight, you was like, was it eight on one, were you? Yeah, 8-1, so okay. yeah, this is my 10th fight, yeah. Okay, and um, how did you feel the fight went? How did you break it um, I feel like I hurt him a few times, um, a lot more times than, than he hurt me. Um, I felt like the decision was mine, my corner was like, you know, just reminding me that I'm winning, just stay smart. Um, so yeah, that, that was the plan really, just to stick to the boxing and, and try and outsmart him. I said in a, in a previous interview that I can now smart most boxers um, and I just think I just proved that today. Um, yeah, I won't say that. Um, the last time I saw someone fight for this belt of yours was um, 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 Dion Jamar, was that his name? Dion. What do, you, what, do you, what do you think of him? He's another fellow sub. Have you sparred him before or anything? I haven't sparred uh, Dion, no, uh, but we have history. We have history, but it's nothing, there's no ill blood or nothing like that. Um, when I see him, it's all love. Um, but yeah, I do know Dion, I know Ozzy as well. Okay, tell me about this, a little bit about this history. Can you elaborate on that? <laughs> so basically, I fought Dion in the ABAs. So when, when we were in the ABAs, um, it was possible for you to fight twice a day, all right? Um, so I had a fight, um, my semi-final, which I won, uh, whereas Dion got a bye straight into the final. Um, so while I'm fighting my semi-final, I see Dion just sitting in the crowd, just chilling, watching, you know. Uh, so when it came for me and him to fight, um, obviously Dion's fresh, uh, he beat me. I think, yeah, my corner, they pulled me out in the, in the last round. Um, but you know it's one of those things. It's not. It's not his fault. Obviously, if I was in his position, I would have done exactly the same thing. Um, so I don't know. Yeah. It was but, all in the same day. Two fights in two one. Two fights day. in the same day. They don't allow it no more. But yeah. yeah. Back in the day, it was a normal thing. It was a normal thing. That's crazy. That's mm. crazy. So uh, it's all about the lock of the joy in that sort of situation. Definitely. Was Definitely. that the elite seniors of that time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. London oh. final. London, oh, final. London final. Yeah. All right. So um, now you've got this belt. What, 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 what do you want next? Are you going to vacate it, try and defend um, it? Um, as I always say, I just want to win and just see what happens, you know. So whatever opportunities come my way, I'll, I'll embrace them, you know what I mean? Um, I haven't got a hit list of people I want to fight, you know, whatever, whatever is in my path, I'll do what I can to, to pass it, you know. Let's stick down to your weight. Um, what do you think, um, what do you think of um, the fight next, oh no, in two weeks? And uh, Wadi Kamacho against Lawrence and Coley. Uh, um, who have you got winning that fight? So I know both fighters. I have to say Wadi's improved a lot lately. Um, yeah, he's improved a lot. But I'm just, I've sparred with, I've sparred with Lawrence, and I feel like Lawrence is very good at using his size, um, keeping his opponents away. He kind of engages when he wants to. Um, he's very good at using his size. So I'm. It would be tough for Wadi, um, but if I had to, if I had to choose, I'd go with Vicola. Okay. All right. Then. Thanks for that. And um, what well, is there any way we could find you on your on your socials, Instagram? Yeah, uh, D Seven Mendis on Facebook. Um, D Seven underscore Mendis on uh, Instagram. 
Okay. Well, thanks, thanks for, for spending your time. Yeah, no and congrats on winning the new belt. Thank and you. And more, more of the same in the future. Hopefully. Okay, so you signing out.